In today's video, I'm going to give a monthly progress update since I competed at exactly 11 months postpartum in an NPC bikini show, downsizing from NPC figure. I'm also going to talk about the top three cooking oils, why you should not be cooking with olive oil, and the top three oils you should absolutely avoid cooking with. Hi, this is Mimi Bonnie. So, took my progress photos and I have gained 2.5 pounds since last month. Definitely a lot more muscle and I'm very surprised that I had abs because I ate like half of these creative desserts, the three creative desserts just the day before. It's been three months since I competed. Month one after show day, I gained five pounds, but that five pounds included regaining a lot of the water weight that I lost during peak week, the last week leading up to show day. Um, and I gained a lot of my strength back because I was so weak, I was not allowed to lift heavy because I was downsizing. Uh, and then plus I'd never gained back my strength because I was postpartum. So gained back a lots of my strength, but still not super strong. Uh, gained a lot of muscle and minimal fat gain for that first month, definitely, which was really great. And then the second Second month, I gained three pounds. Definitely a combination of both muscle and fat, but not that much fat. And then last month, which is right to now, I gained two and a half pounds. So I'm content. Uh, my strength now is almost back to my figure strength but not quite there yet. Although there are some exercises like um, tri tricep dips, for example, where I'm doing 45 pounds again, but not the amount of reps that I used to do. And plus tricep dips should be a little easier now because my weight is not that high. My goal is to get back my strength and get stronger while maintaining a smaller physique. So I was about 5'6", 147 pounds maintenance when I was a figure girl. And I was 140 pounds show day, last figure show at 10% body fat. So I figure if I don't go above 140 pounds and during maintenance period, I'm definitely over 10%, then I don't have to worry about getting bigger or getting back to my bigger uh, figure physique. All right, top three cooking oils. So number one is coconut oil. This is a highly saturated fat, 80 to 90% fat saturated fat. And this is important because saturated fats cannot be easily oxidized. And when we're cooking this under heat, it's very quick oxidation. And fat oxidation causes inflammation and diseases in mammals. And saturated fats can't be further oxidized, so you're not going to be causing inflammation with this. Number two is ghee, also a highly saturated fat, 70% about. And so the same benefits as I just mentioned about saturated fats. And this also has a high concentration of unsaturated omega-3s, which is really important because our diet, especially the American diet, is full of omega-6, which is not so healthy for you, especially with how our food system is and you know feeding of animals with non-natural foods. And number three, avocado oil. So this is actually an unsaturated fat, but this is uh, known for a, as a very heart healthy oil and has claims for reducing bad cholesterol and improving good cholesterol. So those are the top three healthy cooking oils based on overall benefits. Now, olive oil is considered a healthy oil, but not so much for cooking because it loses most of its positive properties under high heat conditions. Specifically, the polyphenols, which is a compound that has a lot of the antioxidant properties. And cooking, I mean, this was destroyed probably at like 120 degrees temperature, and most cooking is at least 130 and, and mostly 200 degrees. So it's great for salad dressings, dipping your bread in, but not so much for cooking. On the flip side, the top three oils you should absolutely avoid at all costs, if you care about your health, is canola oil corn oil and soybean oil. These are highly inflammatory oils that will just cause damage to your body. If you want to learn more about healthy fats and why saturated fats are an important part of your diet, then definitely check out my link in the description below for my other video, Healthy Fats 101. And so definitely include any of these healthy fat cooking oils. They do help you burn fat. I also talk about that in my video. And if you've been going to the gym, working out, but you're just not getting the body you want, you want to lose fat, lose 
weight, build tone, lean muscle, improve your metabolism, and you know it's your nutrition that's messing you up, like how much should I eat, what should I eat, when should I eat, all that, then check out my eatnotdiet.com slash peakbody. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. If you like this, give me a thumbs up. Leave any questions or comments about oils below, my transformation. Upcoming videos, I have recorded lots and lots of footage at my first Eat Not Diet restaurant series with my best friend Rose um, and also doing a burger series <laughs> and a back workout. And I still want to post what I ate daily each day for an entire month after show day. And my daily abs progress photos. All right guys, until next time, thanks for watching, subscribe, and see you later.